We all know that at least one person in your family must be taking vitamin D supplements today. Why is it that 10-15 years ago we didn't even know there is something called as vitamin D deficiency but today almost 80% of the Indian urban society is consuming vitamin D supplements. Why is this change suddenly happening? Why is this change recently seen in the last decade? The causes of vitamin D deficiency in general are either lack of consumption of vitamin D rich foods or lack of absorption of enough vitamin D from the sunlight or lack of absorption of that ingested vitamin D in our intestines. These are the three major reasons. Out of this, major two reasons are lack of consumption, lack of absorption from sunlight. But we need to understand one thing. Even if, you, even if we stand in the sunlight from morning 8 a.m. to evening 6 p.m., even if we do that, that vitamin D will not be absorbed into our body unless we have something called as cholesterol in our skin. We all know that we get vitamin D from sunlight, right? How do we get that? We think that sunlight touches our skin, then it magically gets converted into vitamin D and it gets absorbed into our body. No, that is not how it happens. The sunlight or the UV rays which is, which is coming in contact with our skin is then coming in contact with something called as 7 dehydrocholesterol. Only after coming in contact with that, it is getting converted into something called as pre-vitamin D. That is going to the liver and then that is becoming the potent form of vitamin D. This is getting absorbed into our body. So, even if enough UV rays or sunlight is available, if we don't have enough cholesterol in our body, then this vitamin D can never be absorbed into our body. But isn't cholesterol harmful to our body? Why are we having cholesterol? The true fact is that cholesterol is indeed helpful for our body. Without cholesterol, major functions such as the formation of cell, the formation of sexual hormones in our body are not happening. So we need cholesterol. Now what are the sources of good cholesterol? The best sources of good cholesterol are desi cow's ghee, desi butter, olive oil, sesame oil, coconut oil, etc. In an Ayurvedic point of view, with vitamin D deficiency, we see that there is brittleness of the bones, that is easy fractures occur, there is pain in the bones. This can be correlated with a dosha called as vata dosha, which is generally caused due to dryness or lack of oiliness in our body. So in order to replenish this, we need to take good amounts of healthy fats. What are those fats? As I have already told, desi cow's ghee, butter, etc. are to be consumed. These contain good amounts of vitamin D. And you need to understand one thing. Vitamin D is called as a fat soluble vitamin. There are two kinds of vitamin. One is a fat soluble vitamin, other is a water soluble vitamin. Water soluble vitamins are abundantly present. But fat soluble vitamins are present only in fats and vitamin D is one such fat and it is present in good fats such as ghee. So you need to consume good amounts of ghee, butter etc. in order to get good amount of cholesterol and you need to expose yourself to minimum 15 to 20 minutes of rising and setting sun. This will help you to replenish the vitamin D which is lost in your body. But is it necessary for, a, for us to take vitamin D supplements? Because there are a lot of people out there who are taking vitamin D supplements. Actually speaking, vitamin D supplements are necessary only when there is a critical need for that. That is, if the values of vitamin D in our blood is very less in such conditions, vitamin D is necessary to bring it back to normal. But once it comes back to normal, in order to maintain that, changes in our food and lifestyle are necessary. Taking a supplement is a temporary solution. It can never be a permanent solution. In order to get a permanent solution, we need to bring out changes in our lifestyle like exposing our, ourselves to enough sunlight, doing enough exercise, etc. And food changes like consuming enough good fats and cholesterol rich foods and not avoiding cholesterol saying that it might cause heart blocks or other such conditions. Do subscribe to our channel to be updated with our latest videos. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and if you have any opinions or questions, please write them in the comment section below.